Now for this last part of the question, I'll just read it out anyway, but we've got the mean and standard deviation then of the marks of all the students who sat the exam were 55 and 10 respectively. And we're told then that the examiners decide that the total mark of each student should be scaled by subtracting five marks and then reducing the mark by a further 10%. And so we've got to find the mean and standard deviation of the scaled marks of all the students. So to do this, how would I go about it? What would be my reasoning behind it? Well, essentially, what we've got, see if I can draw you a diagram just to kind of explain it. Let's suppose we had this line here represents the mean of the marks, 55. And you've got your marks for each student. Okay, we'll just put those marks in. Let's suppose first student has that mark, another student has that one, and so on. So we've got marks scattered all around this mean mark here. Now, if we were to subtract five from all of these marks, what would happen? They would just simply have new values that were five less than the 55. Well, the mean would be five less, I should say, than the 55. So we've now got a new mean then, let's just put that on here, which would be at 50. Let's just even put it in on red, okay, like that. We brought the mark down by five units, so all those values would have gone down by five marks, so the new mean here would be 50. But then, if for instance, suppose I halved all of these marks now. Okay, the mean would get halved, it would go down to 25. But I don't halve it, I reduce it by a further 10%. Now you've got to be careful here because if you reduce something by 10%, it's the same as finding 90% of it, timesing it by a scale factor of 0.9. So that's essentially how we go about finding the value of the new mean. We'll just write it out here, the new mean. What we've got is the original mean, 55. We reduce it by five. Okay, that brings us down to the 50. But then if we now scale it down by a further 10%, we're finding 90% of this value. So we times it by 0.90, or you could just leave it at 0.9. Okay, so if you work that out, you end up with 45. Now we've also got to work out what the new standard deviation is going to be. Now, when you take off five of your marks, the scattering of those points about the mean doesn't change. And remember, standard deviation is a measure of the scattering about the mean. So when you drop all the points by five marks, that scattering stays exactly the same. So we're not interested in that part. What we're interested in is this reducing by a further 10%. Because when we scale these points now by 10%, they get closer to the mean. So the scattering is going to be smaller. So therefore, the standard deviation is affected only by this factor here. Well, I say that factor, if we reduce it by 10%, the multiplication factor is 90%, 0.9 in other words. So the new standard deviation, okay, let's just write that in, new standard deviation, is going to be equal to 0.9, multiplied by the 10, the old standard deviation. Okay, so obviously that comes out at nine. So I hope that made some sense to you and uh, you can follow my reasoning. Anyway, that brings us now to the end of this question. Okay.